So good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Nicolas. I'm a first year uh, DPhil student, um, and I want to present a project uh, to which I've been associated before uh, starting my uh, my studies here, uh, which is a scoping review on research prioritization for preparedness and response to outbreaks uh, of high consequence pathogens. Uh, we all know that resource allocation in health and healthcare research is a is a key issue. Um, and uh, research prioritization, priority setting in research can actually help uh, to better allocate that money and to uh, allocate it effectively. Um, it is also a key element of um, adequate preparedness and response. Therefore, we undertook this study uh, with the idea to map uh, all the published research prioritization exercises that exist, because that would allow to provide an analysis of the methodologies that are being used to um, set priorities in health research for preparedness and response. This would also, the idea is also to be able to uh, describe the evaluation and monitoring processes that are being used to assess the prioritized uh, areas and to identify standards or guidance that would allow us to effectively undertake a research priority setting exercise. And finally, to map these uh, priorities to the WHO research cycle framework. So um, the protocol has been published on Open Research Europe, uh, and so far we have retrieved more than 4,500 uh, articles and reports that have been double screened, and uh, 129 of these are being included into the final analysis. And we are currently dealing, uh, so data has been extracted, and we are currently uh, dealing with the cleaning analysis and um, synthesis of the data, and we'll soon start uh, drafting the first manuscript. Regarding the significance of this review, um, well, the idea is to provide an understanding of the methodologies that exist uh, for priority setting exercises for high consequence pathogens for preparedness and response. Then this would allow to provide the standards on um, how can we effectively prioritize research and to recommend these, uh, these guidance. And finally, we do hope that um, this will help to influence founders and uh, other stakeholders into designing optimal um, prioritization activities for the effective allocation of resources. Just to make the link, so I'm a first year DFIR student, so just to make the link, I will be working on health research systems financing and prioritization for pandemic preparedness and response uh, under the supervision of uh, Dr. Norton and, and Professor Molina. Thank you very much.